Hi, my name is Jason Erdman. I'm doing an investigation here about density. I've got a uh, few samples of water here. This is just regular bottled water, pure water. That's got a density of one gram per milliliter. Um, this is the exact same stuff. This I just had opened another bottle and dumped it right in here. So this is also just pure water with a density of one gram per milliliter. This sample here actually is salt water like you'd find in the ocean. So the density of this one is one. 0.025 grams per milliliter. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but I've written it on this little label here so we can remember. So this is just a little bit more dense than your standard water here. And then our very last sample is saturated salt water. Now I made this sample myself by adding salt to the, to the glass. Maybe you can see it on camera, maybe you can't, but there's some salt still in the bottom of there. It doesn't matter how long I stir it, that salt is, going, is not going to dissolve. And the density of this one is 1.2 grams per milliliter. So this is our most dense sample. This is our second most dense sample. And this is standard water at 1 gram per milliliter. This is our least dense sample. Um, what I'm going to do to actually try to help us understand or visualize how density works, is I'm actually going to float a golf ball in these samples and we'll see if it sinks or not. Golf balls actually, and you can maybe see in this label, have a density of 1.05 grams per milliliter. So we will see if those sink or float and maybe you can actually make a prediction based on the numbers we have labeled here. If not, just pay attention and I'll walk you through it. So for the very first sample here, this is one gram per milliliter, that's the density of regular water. We're gonna to try to float a golf ball here and we're gonna see what happens. As you can see, my SpongeBob golf ball here sank straight to the bottom. So the density of the golf ball must be a little heavier than the density of the standard water, which is exactly what we predicted. This is 1.015 density. This is a density of 1.0. So this is a little more dense than water. That's why it sinks. Our second sample is salt water with a density of 1.025. So when we put the golf ball in there, maybe again you can guess what's going to happen, but we will see this time. All right, look at that, that's pretty awesome. So again, our, our golf ball is slightly less dense than the water in this case. The density is of course different because of the salt that's dissolved into the cup. So the uh, added salt particles increase the density of the water. Um, density again is a measure of the amount of stuff in a certain amount of space. So we've got the same amount of space here. But this one has extra salt in it. There's more stuff in that space, so it's more dense. That's why this water is more dense than the golf ball, and this water is less dense than the golf ball. This one sinks, this one floats. Now in this last sample, this is kind of a fun one, this is saturated, so this will not hold any more salt no matter how long I stir it. So we're going to add the golf ball in there, and it should float because it should be even more dense than this one. So we'll put it in, let's see what happens. Definitely floats, right? Pops right back up to the top. You can see that that golf ball is definitely less dense than that water. But what we're going to do is kind of an experiment is we're going to add a bunch of pure water. Remember, the golf ball sinks in the pure water. So when we add this pure water, we will see if the golf ball sinks or floats or just stays exactly where it is. Let's find out. Well, looks like it's still floating a little bit. All right, pretty neat. So what you can see there is that we've actually balanced the densities. The golf ball has the exact same density in this case as the water. So the golf ball floats exactly halfway down the glass. So the golf ball with a density of 1.015 grams per milliliter must be exactly equal to the density of this water now that I've added some uh, pure water to it. So that's my experiment. Pretty neat. Hopefully that helped you understand density and thank you very much.